Text 20 Attaining repeated birth amongst the species of demoniac life, O son of Kunti, such persons can never approach me. Gradually they sink down to the most abominable type of existence. It is known that God is all-merciful, but here we find that God is never merciful to the demoniac. It is clearly stated that the demoniac people, life after life, are put into the wombs of similar demons and not achieving the mercy of the Supreme Lord, they go down and down so that at last they achieve bodies like those of cats, dogs and hogs. It is clearly stated that such demons have practically no chance of receiving the mercy of God at any stage of later life. In the Vedas also it is stated that such persons gradually sink to become dogs and hogs. It may be then argued in this connection that God should not be advertised as all-merciful if he is not merciful to such demons. In answer to this question in the Vedanta Sutra, we find that the Supreme Lord has no hatred for anyone. The placing of the Asuras, the demons, in the lowest status of life is simply another feature of his mercy. Sometimes the Asuras are killed by the Supreme Lord, but this killing is also good for them. For in Vedic literature, we find that anyone who is killed by the Supreme Lord becomes liberated. There are instances in history of many Asuras, Ravan, Kans, Hiranyakashyap, to whom the Lord appeared in various incarnations just to kill them. Therefore, God's mercy is shown to the Asuras if they are fortunate enough to be killed by him. Text 21 There are three gates leading to this hell, lust, anger and greed. Every sane man should give these up, for they lead to the degrada degradation of the soul. The beginning of demoniac life is described herein. One tries to satisfy his lust, and when he cannot, anger and greed arise. A sane man who does not want to glide down to the species of demoniac life must try to give up these three enemies, which can kill the self to such an extent that there will be no possibility of liberation from this material entanglement.